Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. So thank you so much for all of you that are understanding that I'm not doing as many, as many videos at the minute due to the fact that my son is over here with his girlfriend from Australia. So I'm spending some quality time with him um, whilst trying to juggle work as well. So I do appreciate all of you understanding. But in today's video, I hope you've had a lovely weekend, but I am back today and we're gonna be talking about the court case and also I'm going to talk about the non-event that was um, the alleged child that is Lily's second birthday. So yeah, if you want to join me in this conversation, you should know what to do by now. Grab your drink of choice, whether it be tea, whether it be coffee, or whether you were like me and you were still loving the cherries and berries, um, or whether you would like to sit in your garden with a cool glass of something with a little added extra, because as the flag says behind me, it is five o'clock somewhere. So grab your drink and let's dive right in. start I'm just going to say that please excuse me I'm feeling a little bit out of sorts at the minute um for some reason don't know why but the menopause and I know people say oh stop going on about the menopause but well it's a fact of life and it is what I'm going through right right now um and it is really kicking my behind at the minute and the weird thing is it seems to go in phases one minute I'm getting like the really hot flushes and I seem to combat that and I've taken some great supplements that really seem to be helping that and then the brain fog has just massively taken over i i'm i'm really struggling with the brain fog and i'm taking the things that i know that i can take um magnesium is one of them and so many things but it's yeah it's so bad and then trying to run my job and do this at the same time it's it's a lot and yeah so so please excuse me if i just forget things, go off on a tangent. Um, it's, it's, it's happening. <laughs> so the court case, um, well, before I get to the court case, let's talk about the non-event that was, um, the alleged child that is Lily's second birthday. Again, what frustrates me with the media, and that's funny that because we've got Harry that's going after the hack, the media and the hacking and everything else, but it's funny how he doesn't mind. It doesn't, they don't seem to mind when the media attack their, their family. Like he's not jumping in defense of, you know, all oh, my family have gone through so much with the hacking. It's all about him. Um, and again, what's come out is that the royal family have snubbed Lily, Lily's second birthday. That's that. That's what I've seen, you know, and I've looked at the footage because when I Googled kind of like Lily's second birthday, is there anything that's come out? Um, all that's all that I could see, the articles that I could see, um, and I put some of them up here, um, Lily's second birthday, royal snub Lily's birthday, um, and I just find that hilarious because can anyone re remind me or tell me when Harry and Meghan actually put out an official statement, whether it be on their Merchywell site um, of happy birthday to any of the William and Catherine's children? Is there, has there been a, an official happy birthday to them? Um, has there been a, an official happy birthday to anyone when any of the royals have a happy birthday? Does, does, does Harry and Meghan put a, a statement out? I think they possibly put something out about the Queen at some point, the late Queen, but nothing um, recently for sure. Um, but again, that doesn't get mentioned. It's always the royal family snub Harry and Meghan. It's like they're perpetual victims. And it just frustrates me because I... Like most of you know by now on this channel, I do not believe Lily exists. Um, I've said what I feel about Archie, um, but I don't. And from what I have seen, what I've been sent, it what I've been told is that Lily was an adopt going to be an adoption. They sourced a child that was going to be, I'm guessing, the perfect example of um, a blonde, blue-eyed girl that was going to... I, I guess in Meghan's possible delusion or, and even possibly Harry's at this point, I'm not sure, was going to be uh, almost like a mirror Diana. Um, and then this child would have been you. And I tell you now, this child, if this child was real and was and this adoption had been completed, the, we would have seen everything about this child. She would have been the next Diana in Meghan's eyes. Now, even though we see that Meghan in a way tries to um, 
be her she would have also used her child in this way as well because this is what narcissists do so the fact that we do not ever see these children in a natural setting we've never seen them out and about as a normal family the only time we have ever seen them is when that is their their videographer photographer miss Anne harriman who's in on the whole thing in my opinion alleged um you know when they did their, their docu-series and i still get people in the comments kind of saying oh she's waiting on milking these children what's she waiting for what's she waiting for you know Ar archie is supposedly four now there's been plenty of opportunities when she could have utilised these children for monetary purposes, whether it be a Hello magazine spread, whether it be um, at the the Jubilee when the children were at the window, when they were sticking their tongue out of the window. Why were their children not there? They're supposed to be in the country, but why were they not standing at the window? You've got to remember, a lot of, a lot of us don't think the way a narcissist thinks it would be to take attention away from something or someone else. And in that moment, especially in the window of the Jubilee, it would have been to take away the attention from uh, William and Catherine's children or anyone else's children. So if they had the children there with them, you can guarantee that we would have seen Archie in the window and we would have seen Megan holding Lily. We didn't see that, we saw them. But we, but we all know that they weren't, the children weren't here because they weren't on the flight manifest, they weren't seen. Um, so everything is all just a lie. So this whole thing with Harry being over here and apparently he didn't turn up yesterday because apparently he was celebrating his alleged child's second birthday. Well, I call BS on that because firstly, don't believe this child exists. Secondly, they're not together. We know that pretty much. Um, thirdly, she's two. So even if the other two things that I've said say they weren't true, even if she was real and she was there um what two-year-old would would know the difference between celebrating the birthday the day before to the actual birthday what you're telling me that Li that lily would have been offended if if she wasn't if harry wasn't there to celebrate her second birthday how utterly ridiculous so what that this tells me that probably harry was doing something else um whatever it was and he just decided not to turn up but of course you know, I've seen the things on, on um, you know, social media where the, her, their fan base, uh, you know, oh, he wasn't there meant to be there till today. No, the judge ordered him to be there yesterday. Um, it was only that he wasn't testifying till today. Now, somebody has asked me, you know, how do I think that Harry is going to react on the stand? Harry, like Meghan, would not do very well being interrogated. Integrated? Integrated, interrogated. Um, for Harry, it's very much about everything has to be structured. Um, this is, you know, and this really what this is about, in my opinion, this is about Harry wanting to control the media. Because this whole phone hacking thing, and from what I've been told, um, by the looks of it, I think Harry was, if possibly, maybe hacked about five something times. Whereas his brother was hacked so much more and so was Catherine. And I'm guessing possibly the other celebrities. Now, don't get me wrong, I don't agree with it. And I think, um, you know, it's, it's you know, if people are trying to get their, some things that way, then it's not okay. Of course it's not. And I, and I don't um, say that it's wrong for anyone to call the media into account for that. But what this tells me is that, I think Harry was offered £200,000 initially as a compensational fee, a payout. Um, but I think he wants as much as what his brother got. Um, but by by the stand of the fact that his brother was and, and Catherine was hacked so much more, that tells you that you're not going to get the same amount. But I think in Harry's mind, it's almost like he's got this, he's so intent on competing with his brother and this jealousy that he has that it's he he it's like he just can't see past that and then we have this the whole thing of harry obviously now being interrogated on the stand and he is not going to this is not going to go well for him purely and simply because 
I think Harry believes in his, almost like in his delusion, in his bubble that he's grown up in, is that he's, he's untouchable. I think he believes that if he, even if he goes up against people, that they're going to see him as the prince of the UK, or the royal family, and they're not going to go hard on him. But of course they are. Um, and the law and the, the lawyer solicitor that is um, attached to going after Harry in, in trying to get him to prove it. And of course, all that Harry's coming back with so far is, well, why don't you get the journalists to, to come and, and take the stand? At the moment, the journalists are being protective, which is upsetting Harry. But what's also interesting is that, well, how comes it's OK for Meghan's friends to be protected when they were being called out on something? How comes they weren't brought to testify? Um but that was that was okay that was acceptable now it's about harry and these journalists it's kind of like well no they should be you know be interrogated when he's being asked to prove you know like a lot of the things that are coming out it's like well this was already in the public domain this wasn't about hacking um and harry's just this perpetual victim you know firstly he doesn't turn up when he's supposed to this is a, a you know a court case that he's part of i think he even started or set up whatever it is couldn't even be bothered to turn up the first day um when he's supposed to so he, so he rocks up today um and then when he's on the stand it's kind of like well you know he, all, all he can come back with is well why don't you you know speak to the journalist that has supposedly done this no harry this that's not kind of how it works you're the one that has brought this to the forefront so if you feel so strongly about the fact that these people have hacked your phone um, and they have found information out, then prove it. You know, this is the whole the whole foundation of your argument is that this in your mind that this is real. So surely if you're going to take somebody to court, like, for example, if I was taking somebody to court, I wouldn't be doing that on a if some but mutts and mutts. Oh, for goodness sake. If buts and maybes, not ifs and mutts. Um, I would make sure that I knew that I got the evidence because I know I would know that the other side is going to be coming in and being like, well, we can refute that or we can, you know, that that's not true or whatever. You know, so how, the fact that Harry's going in and saying, well, yeah, I well, because they've done it then, it must mean that they've done it now. That that that's that's the whole basis of your argument is because they've done it before. Oh, it must have been. That's how they obtain the information. But the irony, in my opinion, also here is that Harry has just written a book where he's literally talked about everybody else's privacy. He's talked about the woman that he had sexual relationships with when he, I think, that broke his virginity, um, causing her to have to come out because people were starting to kind of want to know who this was. He's talked about his family, his brother being circumcised. I didn't know his brother was circumcised. But he's happy to expose other people's privacy. He's happy to talk about Chelsea, stating in uh, that, that he believed they would still be together if it wasn't for the press intrusion. You are part of the royal family. And like every celebrity, everyone out there, to some degree, this is unfortunately what comes with the territory. But when you are part of the royal family, they have a working relationship with the press to... Um, like they will come and they'll be like, right, okay, we've got this story. And, and the royal family will be like, well, okay, that's absolutely not true. Or, well, or they might ignore it if they think, well, okay, there is some truth to it, but they don't want to say anything, no comment. Um, but for the most part, I mean, it's like when you look at even any of the royal family, the media sat on Charles and Camilla's relationship for a very long time before it was revealed. They knew about it. Harry has been protected. They knew about Harry's cocaine use, but they contacted the royal family and the royal family basically said no and they protected him. And I think then what they did release was the fact that he was he was caught smoking marijuana, not cocaine. So you can't tell me that there's not been times when Harry has been very much protected in the, with regards to the press. There's probably things that they could have written about, but they've gone to the royal family and said, look, we've got this story. Um, you know, and the, and the royal family have said, OK, you know, we, perhaps we don't want you printing that. Um, 
but you know maybe we can you know come to some kind of arrangement i i, I absolutely considering harry's behavior and the way he is now i'm not saying that william has been innocent growing up he was a young lad of course he's probably got up to things but Harry, I think, has been very much protected, which was why we had Harry, the lovable prince, Harry, the lovable rogue, the one that was a bit of the wild child, but everyone he loved him, you know, because his whole character was carved out in the media to be portrayed this way. He had the best of both worlds. He was very popular within the, the public. He was popular within the press. Um, everybody loved him. Everybody forgave him. Even if he did come out with some things, everyone was just like, oh, do you know what? It's Harry. It doesn't matter. Harry was very well loved. And he knew that. He knew that. What this is, is the fact that all of this is coming out now due to the fact that Harry hates the fact that he's getting negative press. Because he was fine when it was all the positive press. He's fine having going to these fake award ceremonies or wherever or, or being seen wherever, you know, he's fine having the press there for his Invictus games or whatever it is that he needs the press for. Oh, he's absolutely fine for that. You know, remember when he said every click of the camera just is traumatizing. But when those clicks are positive, when he's getting positive feed, uh, feedback from the media, oh, it's fine. When he sits and does an Oprah interview, when he sits and does mass um, uh, interviews regarding his book, when he needs the media to promote his book, that's okay. But it's not okay when the media call out his wife for lying, when the media call him out for lying and the inconsistent stories that have been coming and going forever since they left or actually even just before so i think this is harry trying to get back at the press um like i say i don't agree with the hacking clearly it's gone on uh, not necessarily just for him for mainly for other people and i think it's wrong but this was also years ago. This doesn't really happen now. The media has changed so much. Like even being chased, you know, over here in the UK, you don't even get chased anymore by the paparazzi. There is a lot has changed since Princess Diana passed away due to a lot to do with that. And again, Harry brings in his mother again in everything. I have to be the victim. So if it's not going my way, I'm going to bring in my mother he doesn't care, in my opinion, he doesn't actually care about being hacked. I think he just cares about what was said. And I also think he cares about the fact that everything now is negative about him. He is not popular anymore. No one particularly really likes him and he hates it. He absolutely hates it. And that's why he will not do well under uh, to be uh, cross-examined because he's lied. And people who lie generally don't do well when they've been cross-examined. And that's why he will come back with, which I'd imagine his, um, his solicitors have said, right, well, if you're getting a question that you don't particularly like, come back with this. And this is why that's coming out a lot. You know, he is, in my opinion, a very very immature man I'm not saying that he hasn't gone through something in fact you know what I'm even tired of saying that because it's not just him there are so many people that have gone through trauma even people in the public eye and the other one is also his brother lost his mother too but you don't see his brother using his mother's death for everything to cry about being a victim I think in all fairness he doesn't want the media intrusion of finding the truth about the things that they've got going on behind the scenes. I don't think they want the, the anything to come out regarding these children. I don't think they want anything to come out regarding the truth about their relationship. I just don't think that's why they want to control the media. He tries to do it here. I think he'll try to do it in the States. And I mean, that won't go down well. Um, but I just, yeah, I just think it's, this is Harry just wanting to control the media. You know, he's he's lied so many times. I'm surprised he actually can remember any of them. Um, but we will see, I mean, whether or not the judge deems that he is. I personally, I feel that if the judge believes that, and I hope this is not going to be another 
Megan situation where they didn't even pull her up on anything when she lied and uh, in court. But you can't have it both ways. You can't have someone where you you take your father and literally take your father to court over a letter and not and want your five friends kept secret. But then when these journalists are kept secret, you complain about it. It's the same type of thing. You, know, you can't, in my opinion, take somebody to court, but then have no evidence to back that up. And it just becomes that, well, 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 if you did it, then it, you must have done it now. No, one, one, one doesn't negate the other. You know, at the end of the day, if you, even if they did do it then, it doesn't mean to say they've done it now or when Harry says they have. You know, if they can come back with a reasonable uh, of, well, this was already in the public domain. You know, it's like when we get attacked, you know, like for the things that sometimes we say on our channel, it's like we're only we're only repeating what we've seen in the public domain or the research that we've done. It's not that we've just conjured something up. Well, I mean, I don't. I mean, some might, but I don't and some others don't. You know, we just we're just, re you know, repeating it, but in a more like I give a more psychology aspect to it um but with harry this just need to be a perpetual victim you know it's like you're nearly 40 years old harry and you're and you're you've lit all you do is sue everybody um which is kind of all he's done and i would say this is probably more about the money i think he sees that william got a huge amount of money and he probably wants the same but it's not the same you know, you can't put that, you know, it's like, it, it, it's like suing somebody for, for say, if there's like two of you that have gone into something and you've, you've had an injury and your injury, say you broke your finger and then the other person, you know, has, has lost a limb. It's like the payout is going to be more, you know, so in the context of that, if Harry does get anything, I mean, he was offered 200,000 and he turned it down. So that tells you it's about the money. But I think he just doesn't want the lies. I don't, I don't think he wants the lies to come out. I think he believes that if he wins this court case, he's vindicated and the press are going to think probably twice about trying to uncover anything to do with them. Um, and I think the bottom line is, if you don't do anything wrong, even if you are hacked, you've got nothing to worry about. And I think that's the biggest thing with Harry. I think he's got a lot to worry about. And I don't believe he wants the truth to come out. And that's why he's censoring the media. I have never known anybody to behave in the way that he's behaving, where he courts the media when he wants it and then complains when it doesn't go the way he wants it. Um, I, yeah, this this man, I mean, whether or not the image was fake before with the royal family, and, the, and like I said, this is probably who he really is, but how can you have fallen so far? You have a man that was under the Queen, the most popular royal. And now I think is either on par with Prince Andrew or even below him. You know, if you're ever going to look at somebody that has fallen from the biggest height to have their reputation in the toilet, I think Prince Harry is one of the biggest, in, in my opinion. Well, I mean, Felix... Philip Schofield's not doing too well right now, but uh, but yeah, Prince Harry is is yeah, it's pretty bad. But let me know what you think in the comments. Do you what do you think about this court case? And I will keep you up to date. Obviously, this is what I know so far. Um, so obviously, as this progresses, and obviously when the outcome happens, um, I will obviously um do videos on that. I've also got coming up. I want to do videos on. Um, I have been sent some information in regards to this possible because people have said to me, "Can we please, can you please discuss whether Megan was pregnant uh, when she was younger?" I've been sent some information, so I'm going to look into this, and I'm going to then do a video and give you what I see and what I believe. Um, take that as you will. Um, as you know, I try not to speculate I try to get as much information as I can it's very difficult to try and get in, uh, information from the states a lot of things have, I believe have been wiped with regards to Megan but people are sending me things and I've got lots of other videos coming up but like I say I will keep you up to date with this um, and what you know and let me know what, what do you think about this um, this alleged second birthday do you believe that Lily exists 
know my thoughts on this I genuinely don't and I have said before that I believe she was going to be an adoption but the mother this is information that I've been sent as well the mother changed her mind after having issues with Megan and I think there was also monetary issues as well allegedly and she changed her mind which was why Megan initially leading up to this bought up all of the domain names of this particular child's birth um so yeah it didn't happen and so this is why I think we're now seeing the only time we ever see the this child is when it's just been orchestrated by um by them because trust me like I said this if this child was real Megan would be using her especially because she, I believe she wanted almost like a carbon copy Diana I think what she wants would be to have a daughter to take away from Charlotte Charlotte gets a lot of attention she's a beautiful little girl of course she's going to she's a royal child Megan I believe hates that as much as she hates Louis getting attention George getting attention which was why when Louis got all of that attention at the Jubilee up popped a picture of um, Lily to almost take away from that and I think that's what um, Lily would would have been if this adoption had gone ahead she would be reeling her out to overshadow Charlotte I think she's got a lot of jealousy when it comes to Charlotte you've only got to look at the wedding to see how she behaved when Charlotte walked up um, it was literally like she almost glared at her and then just gave this big grin to, um, I can't remember the girl's name, but it was Jessica Maroney's daughter. as her name Ivy, I think. Oh, I might have got that wrong. Um, you can just see it. You know, and the fact that obviously the rumours coming out that she created Charlotte to cry over the over the bridesmaid dress situation and, and, and Catherine got upset. You know, so there's a lot there. And we know, anyone that knows anything about narcissists knows they are terrible parents terrible parents um and especially if you have a narcissistic mother but what she would also do like i say is because she, because um lily would be young is that she would she would be pushing her out we would we would get everything there would be hello magazine spreads you name it we would get everything but we're not the only time we see this child is when they organize it and for the people that set uh, like i said of people that say oh that they're waiting for the money shot they've had opportunities for the money shot what are they waiting for what are they waiting for i'll tell you what they're waiting for what i would suspect is probably behind the scenes megan is trying to secure another child that would be around the age around the same type of look that lily would have right now um and i think that when she does that i think that is when we are possibly going to see um them coming out more with the child um or dare i say something will happen because they can't keep this lie up for much longer um but anyway so like i say let me know what you think in the comments um as always i love to read them and uh again thank you so much for everything in supporting what i'm doing thank you so much for the birthday messages that are flooding in uh for those of you who have asked my birthday is actually the 15th of june i am a gemini i will be 50 years of age on the 15th of june um so yeah thank you so much i'm getting emails already loads of comments um trying to get to you all um i will be going in and thanking every single one of you that have emailed me i haven't done it yet um but when my son goes home i'll have a little bit more time and i will sit down and go through all of them and give you a personal message back thanking you um i am very very grateful to you so don't think i'm not receiving them i am i'm reading them i'm very grateful so thank you so much um uh if you would like to uh buy me a cup of coffee or a cup of tea you can the link is in the description box below it's also right above the subscribe button as well you get the little icon um you can join me on instagram rumble um you can also go across to my other channel which is actually now called tea and therapy that is going to be just about therapy related issues for those of you who just want some support or help or answers to questions um, I have been pretty quiet on there just recently, but again, because I'm just trying to spend as much time with my son before he goes home in just under two weeks time, sad face. Um, 
yeah so don't forget to give this a thumbs up if you liked it um i see that i get some great views but not every one of you like the videos so that's either that you because you don't like it <laughs> could be and i'm still getting the views which i'm grateful for but if you can if you can give this a like please do um yeah and i will see you in the next video so again if you have anything that you want me to cover you um i will be covering philip schofield for those of you i'm just kind of waiting for the dust to settle a little bit so i can get all of the information um so for those of you that have commented and asked and emailed and said can you please cover uh prince um prince i only said prince philip <laughs> philip schofield goodness sake see what i mean um i will be doing that so again, thank you so much um, and I will see you, um, yeah, at some point this week in the next video. So take care as always. I love you. I appreciate you. But most of all, I respect you. Bye.